Hi, I wanted to give a quick demo of the Ambly ClojureScript iOS REPL. Uh, it's a REPL like any other REPL. Uh, I started out by evaluating a couple of forms in uh, the regular Clojure REPL. Um, when I do this, uh, the REPL will find various devices that are running using Bonjour. Uh, and the way this works is there is some code uh, that I have in the app delegate that basically runs the Objective-C side of the REPL and advertises via Bonjour. So if I start this up, um, this will run this in the simulator. Now if I go over here in the REPL and refresh the list, I can see, uh, here it is, this shows up now. Um, and for the demo, I'm ac actually going to launch it. I just did on, on an iPod Touch. Um, and that's this device here. And that's the one I'm going to do the demo with. Um, when I'm doing this, it's actually uh, it's mounted uh, a WebDAB volume on, on the device. Uh, and the compiler output is going into this WebDAB volume. And it's actually on the device. So uh, this, the REPL is now live, and I can evaluate forms. Uh, I'll try some from David Nolan's uh, Node REPL page. Uh, and all these kind of forms will actually work. Uh, and this is actually running on the device. Uh, one thing that is this one here, the timing actually will be slower on the device than uh, you would typically get on a, on a computer, a desktop computer. I think this one, a note, it's 211 milliseconds. I think this one takes uh, maybe up to 20 seconds. Uh, so this is actually. Um, all running inside JavaScript core on the device. Uh, and in addition, um, it's the way it's hooked into the compiler, uh, if I edit some source locally, uh, here's, here's some source that basically has a foobar namespace that I can uh, require in the REPL. It'll actually uh, compile this and send it over to the device, and now it's in there. Um, and that should evaluate that. And then I can change the definition here and the source. Save that. And then if I reload this, if I add a reload directive, then that new code will have been put on the device. So now I get six. Uh, it will also, uh, in addition to the REPL, will print uh, asynchronously. Uh, to demo that, um, I'll basically have a little timeout run. And it'll wait three seconds, and then it will asynchronously print the result back. Um, do it again kind of show you a few of them coming out. Uh, but that's that's basically the REPL. Uh, it's not really connected in and doing anything on the device other than running these commands inside JavaScript core. But you can use uh, the uh, bridging uh, capability that Apple made available in iOS 7 to actually interact with uh, uh, widgets and whatnot on your uh, iOS device if you bridge them into JavaScript core. All right, thank you for watching.